Did you have a good day? So, my friend, did you have a good day? Yes, my roommate. On the other hand, I am so exhausted. Well, I'm going to bed because I'm sleepy. Okay, good night to you and good dreams. Thanks and good night to you too. I had just had a very horrible dream. I will go and share this dream with my roommate. So what do you have? I thought you were asleep. I were sleeping and I had an excruciating dream. Anyway, I am used to listening to your dreams. Tell me everything. So you know, in my dream, I saw that you had lost your maternal uncle and you were crying about it. You were really inconsolable. It was as if it were the truth. It was just a dream that you just had. I think that it will not happen. You know what? I really like my uncle because he was the one who supported us when my father died. Moreover, it is thanks to him that I came abroad to continue my studies. If anything were to happen to him, I would feel very bad. I think we need to pray for your uncle. If you want to pray for him, you can do it because I am not a Christian like you. Besides, I don't even know how to pray. I could show you how to pray. No, I don't want to. You better go to bed. Okay, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. I can't believe he left us. My dear uncle who I love, quoting why you left us immediately. What I find strange about this story is that my girlfriend had this dream last time. I now know that it was like a sign from heaven that she was telling me. But what is the matter with my girlfriend? Are you all right? No, it's not okay. What is going on? Because since just now, you kept crying. Please stop crying and talk to me. The dream you had last time has come true because my mother had just told me on the phone that my uncle had left. My heartfelt condolences. If I knew, I would have listened to you and we should have prayed for him. Stop crying because he's already gone. I think this girl has a gift of vision. The majority of the dreams she has always come true. If I were in her shoes, I would quickly become a clairvoyant and start making a good living. With that, I would go see her to explain to her a little the depths of my thought. I have something to tell you, I am listening to you. I think you have a particular gift that you needed to market. What do you mean by that? I noticed that the majority of the dreams you had, they always fulfilled. Like, you had a dream about my uncle. And that had also come true. I thought you could start by giving people revelations like that. In return, these people paid you a favor. I still don't understand you. You know, today, the majority of Christians like to be given revelations about their future. So, I suggest that you give them the revelations they want. That way, they'll pay you back for services. You can become a perfect clairvoyant for many of them. But how is that going to happen? I know a lady I could take you to and she will train you in clairvoyance. No, I don't want to do that kind of thing. Imagine the money you could get by doing that. I would be your collaborator and together, we will manage things. Are you sure we can get a lot of money? I assure you we would never run out of money again. Well, I'm up for it. I'm going to take you to see the lady in question and she'll tell you how to proceed. Are we going then? Okay. Tell her to come. So what did she say? You can go see her. My heart is beating really fast. Don't worry, she's not going to do anything wrong. Courage to you. Thank you. Based on what I had just heard about her, I think she must have a particular gift of vision. However, I am going to get hold of this gift. That way she can work for me and I'll have a lot more money. I'm going to make her become a great professional clairvoyant. Like that. From time to time, she disguises herself as a prophetess to seduce the children of God in the assemblies. So sweetie, you're going to work for me. I will give you a leaf of a plant that you will put under your tongue every time you have a person in front of you. You will be able to describe all his past and predict his future. 
because human beings like to know so much about what will happen in the future. Through words, you will comfort those who are desperate and in return, these people will give you lots of money. In any case, the day you face difficulties, you will come to me and I will find a solution for you. Okay, it works, I do it like that. In a few months you will come back here to thank me because you will have so much money. I am very happy. You just have to respect my rules and everything will be fine with you. I promise you that I will follow your instructions strictly. Good luck to you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot, don't say anything to anyone. What's going on here should remain a secret. Don't worry, I won't say anything to anyone. Perfect my daughter. Good mission to you then. I had just put a sheet under my tongue. I'm going to test it on my girlfriend to see what happens. I am looking forward to working with you. I see that you suffered a lot as a child. Your parents didn't even know you were going to live to this age. It is the truth. But how did you get all this information about me because I never told you my story? Yes, it works. But what works? In fact, I just tried to do what the lady told me. Moreover, I see that it works. What? Did you try that on me? It was to see how it worked. So what did she give you? It's a secret. But don't worry, we're going to make a lot of money with this. Okay. Since I started doing this job, I don't miss anything at all. Several people invite me here and there to give them revelations. My agenda is already full of appointments. Really, I could never imagine that multiple people would fall into my net so easily. I really realize that Christians today don't read their Bibles. For if he knew the word of God, they would have discerned that I was not a prophetess, but rather a seer. Well, I would say take my employee with me so we can go see the customers of the day. Life is so beautiful. Since I bought this car, I have been living again. It is thanks to you that my life has changed. It's a good thing you listen to me. And yes, my girlfriend then. Where are we going now? I have an appointment with a lady who couldn't make a baby. I will try to do something for her. On the other hand, I would like you to wait for me in the car. Okay, I'll wait in the car. This lady's husband has a lot of money. I would like to take advantage of this money. Since she wants to have children at all costs, I am going to tell her that it is her husband who has infertility problems. That way she will leave home. And me, I took possession of her husband so that I could take full advantage of his money. Hello servant. Madam Lounge. Have you found a solution for my situation? Yes. What should I do then? You know what? The problem is not you. Where does the problem come from? The problem is your husband. If you don't leave him, you will never have children in your life. But I can't leave my husband. Moreover, if you do not leave him, you may also lose your life. Please don't say anything to your husband. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell him anything. All right, I'm going to leave. Okay, thanks for coming to see me. I'll do a bank transfer for you tonight. Okay, that works. Goodbye. What am I going to do now? I don't want to leave my husband and at the same time I would like to have a child. I don't know what to do anymore. Good evening, sir. Good evening, servant. Have you found a solution for us? Without lying to you, it is your wife who has infertility problems and she has a lot of problems inside her. Oh. I have a lot to tell you. Text me and we'll discuss it later. Okay, that works. Well, I'll go see my second client. Few minutes later. Good evening, servant. Shalom. Sister, as soon as I entered here, just now, I immediately noticed that there was a spirit working in this place. 
reason why customers no longer come to buy from you. Moreover, I also see that you are not well psychologically. You are right because I have not been doing well at all lately. I'm going to pray for you and everything will get better. Thank you. Well, I'm going to leave. Goodbye, goodbye and see you next time. What is this lady looking for? However, I told my wife that I did not want to see her feet in my house. Oh, it's the lady's husband. I still have the leaf under my tongue. I will be able to describe his life to him. Good evening, madam. Good evening, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Normally, as soon as I approach him, I would have to see what was going on in his life. Strangely, I saw nothing. I think this man should pray a lot, a lot. I have to be careful with him or he might unmask me. But what did this woman come here doing? Did you forget that I told you I didn't want to see her? Please don't get mad. She had just come back to see what was wrong with this place. I have a feeling in my mind that this woman did not come from God. Anyway, sooner or later, everyone will know the truth about this woman. I am really convinced that it is not from God. So are customers satisfied with your work? Of course. I have just had another nice day. I don't know what's going on, but I'm losing control of the car. So Mrs. Dot are you well? Yes doctor, it's much better. Okay glory to God because you have regained your memory. And my girlfriend, is she well? I'm sorry but she did not survive the accident. She had lost her life. Oh no, she didn't deserve to die. Doctor, when I woke up from the five months of coma, I found that both my legs were no longer functioning. I am again sorry to tell you that you have lost the mobility of your legs. So you're going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Oh my god. How long have I already spent in this hospital? You are in the sixth month. I think it was the anger of God that was unleashed on us that day, because I did not understand what had happened that day, so that I lost control of the car. Excuse me though, I hope you will repent. For if the Lord Jesus Christ kept you still alive, it was so that you could repent of the bad work you were doing in the past. Please accept Jesus Christ into your life for real. You're right, I destroyed several marriages because of the false revelations I was giving. I take money from people who came to see me for lots of money. Here I am today without both legs. These are the consequences of my action. The love of money has completely destroyed my life. Oh my God, forgive me for all the harm I've done. Do not abandon me, Lord, for I have only you alone in my life today. I promise you, Lord, that as soon as I leave the hospital, I will devote the rest of my life to witnessing greatness and praising for the rest of my life. Hosanna to you, Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us be very careful about the revelations. It is not because a person reveals things about our life to us that it necessarily comes from God. We need to develop discernment in these troubled end times so as not to fall into the enemy's traps. Thus says the Lord in Jeremiah 17. Says cursed be the man who trusts in the man who takes flesh for support and who turns his heart away from the Lord. It is also written in the book of John IV, verse of beloved do not add faith to every spirit, but test the spirits to know if they are of God, for several false prophets have come into the world. Let us be like the Christians of Bayre. Let us always analyze and verify whether these revelations come from the Lord Jesus Christ. Moreover, let us always give first place in our heart to our Creator. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you like this video, do not hesitate to like, comment and share it with those around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.